Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a nice day today. Well, of course, you know it's Tarot Tuesday and it's from March 26th to April 2nd. We're already in April, my God. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm just gonna shuffle these up. So funny, earlier I was trying to take a pick but it's so hard to take a pic with glasses on because you have glares and you can't really see your face. So, yeah, that's always good. But then if I take my glasses off, I look weird, so can't win. All right, Aries. Five of Fire, which is Five of Wands. Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others, which is always true. So it just means a lot of challenges, a lot of <laughs> competitions this week for you, Aries. Hey, doesn't make for a dull week, right? <laughs> All right, Taurus, Ace of Earth, which is Ace of Pentacles, which is new beginnings. To me, it's about money and all that. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. So yeah, that's always good, right? Okay, Gemini, Knight of Earth, which is Knight of Pentacles. And it's just trying to say this week, you're loyal, you're dedicated, you're honorable, you're kind, which is all good attributes, I want to say. <laughs> Let me know if that's right. <clears throat> Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. A guardian angel is watching over you this week. So that is always true, Gemini. Cancer, two of breath, which is two of pentacles. And to me, that's just balancing things out and, or shall I say, trying to balance things out. Too much going on at once, the need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach, which is always good. Right, Cancer? <laughs> All right, Leo, renewal. Review and evaluate a favorite Favorable assessment of the facts, if I can talk English today. Time to move in a new direction. So just, you know, set out in a new direction this week. Leo. All right, Virgo. Three of air. Great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. And three of air is three of swords, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah. Take time to heal. I had to read that again. I don't know why. Because to me, Three of Swords is different. It's uh, basically, um, you know, sadness, heartbreak and all that. I don't know. That's weird. Libra. Four of Water, which is Four of Cups. Missing an opportunity, discontentment, or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. So, yeah. And again, Four of Cups to me is holding on to things too tightly. Everybody has different meanings. I noticed that. So that's what I like about tarot. Sometimes you go by your gut, you go by your instinct, or, you know, everyone has, like, different meanings. All right, Scorpio. I know, I'm like going off in all directions today. King of Water, which is King of Cups, and that's basically trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. So that's always good. Alrighty, Sagittarius. Queen of Water, which is Queen of Cups. <laughs> Tender-hearted, empathetic, patient and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. So that's always good. And Capricorn. You can hear my kitty cat sneezing in the background. Five of water, which is five of cups. Things not turning out the way you hoped. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Crying over spilled milk. Don't cry over spilled milk, Capricorn. <laughs> Just pick it up. All right, Aquarius, release. 
The end of a phase of situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. Just release all the old things that you don't want to, you know, clutter up your life with. And last but not least, Pisces. Ace of Air, which is Ace of Swords. Brilliant new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of a situation. A challenging beginning. Hey, we like a challenge, right? Alright, so... That was good. I liked it. Let's get to the Oracle if I can find them. My kitty hears somebody up, so he's like all pricky. His ears are like all pricky. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see what this has to tell us today. I'm trying to shuffle them up good. They're sticking together. I don't know why. Alrighty. And it's love. Ooh, it's all about love this week. So it's all about being with the ones you love, hanging out. I would read that quickly. That sounds good. Oh, just gotta find it. Choosing the symbol is a powerful sign that love in all forms is in your life now. I like that. There is a responsibility to this also. You must give love freely without conditions and love others because your heart is open. There is something else here to consider. Love can be a confusing force too and can sometimes ask a sacrifice of you. What else is new, right? If your heart is aching and feels like it's broken, know that love has a greater love for your leader. No matter where you are in your life right now, love has come to guide you into an important experience. Trust in love. Yes, always trust in love. Because love is a powerful, you know, it's just powerful. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it. All right, guys, hope you enjoy. I'll see you, let's see, today's Tuesday. I'll see you Thursday with the Oracle. Stay safe, have fun, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to be part of the family. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. See you later.